Ghana's death toll from the dreaded COVID-19 has surpassed 560. From the young to the old to those with underlying health conditions and comorbidities, the figures continue to rise. Across the isolation and treatment centers, people are battling for their lives. And when they succumb to the disease, environmental health workers in the various assemblies across the country take over the burials. But there are claims some families with high-profile deaths are being given preferential treatment. Director of Public Health of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Florence Kuchi, denies this. No matter your status, we all go through the same formalities. When you come, what we do to everybody is what we do to you. And we don't do anything outside the Public Health Act, 851-2012. Ghana have adopted the barrier procedures that a World Health Organization brought, but by the Public Health Act, and that is what we do. She says a vast area of the infectious diseases cemetery has been cleared to make way for a more dignified interment of the bodies. Sometimes when family members follow the barrier team and they see where we are carrying out the barrier, they feel demoralized. They think we are just throwing, dumping their beloved in any place. So we have to make the place to look lovely so that they know that we are giving them a befitting and dignified barrier. With fresh restrictions imposed on funerals, dummy burials by relatives are limited. In small numbers, they pray for the repose of a soul of their departed at the morgue before they are conveyed to the cemetery. What you see in the background is the lowering of a casket. One of five that the environmental health workers are conducting today. And they tell me that they do this every week and the numbers keep rising. Leader of the burial team, Inspector Joseph Asitanga, wants more collaboration with the relatives of the dead. Most of the family members, they want to have control over their bodies. But the law doesn't permit. We have to control the spread. And controlling the spread is what we are doing. So we avoid the family. We do all before they come to inspect where we laid their bodies in. So far, over 560 deaths and counting. With the latest record of at least 10 deaths a day from the disease, health experts say strict adherence to the safety protocols could make a difference. Komla Adum, TV3 News, Accra.